What is up guys? My name is Cameron with High Character and today is Thanksgiving Day. I'm on my way to the airport right now. About to meet up with Evan and we are flying out to Europe. This is day one of six days of vlogs we got for you guys. It's gonna be a blast. UMass Hockey is playing two games in Belfast, Northern Ireland for the Friendship Four. So we're going to check those out Friday, Saturday, and then we got a bunch more cities and things to do on this trip. So we're gonna have vlogs through all of it for you guys. It's gonna be super cool and this is the very beginning. So I will see you guys at the airport. There he is. What's up, bud? You were not lying. This place is a madhouse. It is. I hate this. We have made it through security, posted up here at Logan. Our flight is very soon to London. We're flying overnight in Red Eye to London, so we're gonna have to get as much sleep as we can on this flight, but uh, looking forward to it. Once we wake up in the morning, it's gonna be all fun. We are on board, about to go to sleep. When we next see you guys, we will be in London. The next day. All right, just landed in London. It is all of a sudden 6.30 a.m. Uh, neither of us really slept at all, which nope. will be a problem for a different time. But for right now, we're energized. We're ready to go. Our flight to Belfast is at 11 a.m. So not sure exactly what we're going to do until then, but you guys are going to find out right now. So we decided just to stay in the airport. We figured we didn't have enough time to really go do anything. So we're just chilling right now. We got some drinks. I got this Robinson's peach and mango juice. Evan got a, a couple things. A couple, we got this Lucasade right here. I had a nice iron brew before, pretty tasty stuff. Our flight takes off in a little less than two hours and we'll be on our way to Belfast. What the heck? It's the biggest Roomba I've ever seen. This thing's massive. Flight number two. We have finally made it to Belfast. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Tell me what you just said about this this crosswalk guy. He's pointing to his crotch. He's like framing it. Like what is it? Why? I, <laughs> Belfast, figure it out. <laughs> the walk from the bus stop has been very odd so far, but we see the arena in the distance. Our hotel is right next to it. I believe it's that building right there. So this we're is close. The inverse of fucking uh of Amsterdam right here. This is like a non-walkable city. <laughs> we're a little early, so no rooms were ready at the hotel. We were able to check our bags in and uh, yeah, just gonna explore a little bit, kill some time before we're able to go back. See what this beautiful city has to offer. Yeah. Home of the Belfast Giants right behind us. That's where we'll be later tonight. Not sure what the significance of this fish is, but apparently it's pretty famous in Belfast. So here it is. It's a nice looking fish. It is. Here's Evan for comparison. This is a pretty, pretty massive fish. Here, fish. Clock tower here, it's pretty impressive. I must say. I love Big Ben. First food stop of the trip, Time Sandwich Deli. Let's check it out. All right, bud, what'd you, what'd you get? Uh, Charbro chicken, cheese, bacon, and uh, like Southwest sauce or something. All right, Little all right. Veggies to be seen. All right. I got myself a chicken bacon club sandwich. All right, we just finished eating at the Time Sandwich Deli. Evan, what are you rating that out of 10? Seven, it's good. I, think, I agree, no I agree. I think that's a solid seven. It's a decent start. Got some food in us. Headed back to the hotel in Belfast for like an hour and we already got the first rainbow. Leading right down to the arena over there. Good luck for UMass tonight. Well, we definitely didn't expect this. There are palm trees outside the arena somehow. Belfast, Jamaica, baby. It's Let's nuts. Go. Love it. We just got to the hotel. Here's, here's one of the beds, just normal queen size bed. Here's the other one tucked away in the corner. Little twin size bed. Big boy on the big bed. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, thing. yeah, whatever. I can't even say big boy no more. Though. Whatever. <laughs> so if you guys haven't heard yet, Evan and I have just recently started High Character Apparel. It's a website that sells merch for not only our podcast, but some designs inspired by the hockey program and some of the other sports programs when they have good moments or pop up, something like that. So we're really excited about it. A lot of cool designs on t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts. I'm wearing one right now. Celebrate the national championship year 2021. You saw Evan wear the piss missile hoodie earlier. That's in there. Uh, reference to the podcast. 
probably wear another shirt tonight. We have a bunch of designs. We'll be wearing them in this series of vlogs for you guys to check out. And if you want to check out all the designs, head over to highcharacter.myshopify.com. The link is right below right here. Check out all the designs. And yeah, it's the best way to support us. If you love what we're doing with High Character, we'd love to see as many people as possible rocking these shirts and Mullins and everywhere else. So uh, yeah, check it out. This place all dressed up for Christmas. Look at that. This is the Belfast City Hall, maybe one of the most iconic buildings in all of Belfast. Very nicely decorated, I must say. We found this place in front of the City Hall that's basically like the Big E for Belfast, but it's like Christmas themed. And there's all special kind of foods and stuff like that. This place is nuts. Just got this churro, Nutella, strawberry concoction from this place. Looks so good. Oh, you can go edit? Found the info on it. We did not hear about this place or this festival before our trip, and I'm very glad we stumbled upon it because uh, that was awesome. And this, incredible. Here at McHugh's, um, getting some drinks before the game with everybody. Got ourselves a Guinness. Uh, good time. About to head into the arena soon. All right, and we are finally headed into SSE Arena. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> we are here. The promised land. SSE Arena. <laughs> I'm liking this. I'm taking it all in. I really like the lighting of this place. It's got that teal, teal glow for the Belfast Giants. Pretty hype. The boys are out for warm-ups. Those aren't the boys. They suck. All right, end of the first period, no score still. UMass looks really good though. Honestly, they just too many penalties again, man. We had chances though, and that's yeah. what matters. Scott Morrow with the, I don't even know what to call it. He did this weird in between the leg shot. I like the scoring chance, and I like how we got it. It was a good enough play, but we got to capitalize, and we got to really punish Lowell because they're gonna punish us if we make mistakes. Yep, got to break through. Second period coming up. Is it Nothing after two, UMass finally broke through. They got that goal in the power play. What are we thinking so far? It looks pretty good. We got one period left to go. We're getting it done, and that's all that matters. It's not sexy, it's not pretty. We don't look amazing. We look good enough. I got another hat on me. I'm feeling good. Let's get a hat trick to finish off the game. Come on, Kenny Connors. Finish the job, Let's buddy. Do it. I missed the puck drop, but we started. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Connors, baby! Where's that <laughs> fucking hottie? <laughs> hey, you suck! Hey, you suck! Hey, you suck! Fuck him up, fuck him up, go, you man! Yeah! You! You! Just got back to the hotel, finally about to record the podcast. Um, I didn't get a chance to video a bunch, but basically we just walked back to the bar that all the UMass fans were at, hung out for a while, met a lot of cool people, ran into a, a lot of familiar faces and met a lot of people we haven't interacted with yet, which is awesome. The, the UMass community over here is uh, on point as it always is at destinations when we play away. So awesome time there. We're going to head to the podcast right now. And here's a little, little cutout from the pod. We are live from Belfast after UMass took care of UMass Lowell in game one of the friendship for two to one. You are joined by an Evan O'Sullivan off of a couple of victory beers at the McHugh's <laughs> pub in Belfast, Northern Ireland. And I am not going to be ashamed of my slightly drunken state. Kenny Connors, he finds himself in the high slot. He has all the room in the world to skate. He skates one in and just fires a wrister and to make it one nothing to continue his very hot start to the season. Yeah, I was going to say Snipe City, USA, but I guess it would be Snipe City, Belfast, Northern Ireland in this case. That is what happened. UMass moves to the finals of the Friendship Four. They're going to face Quinnipiac, who I believe is ranked number four in the country right now. Let's get a cool Friendship Four win tomorrow, and we'll lock up the championship trophy. Very cool. Let's go.